cows in virtual reality. No, I'm not pulling your plonker. This is a genuine thing that's going on right now at a dairy farm in Russia. Um, and now you know it's in Russia, you're probably not even surprised because if you had to guess out of all the nations across the globe who would try something as silly as putting cows in virtual reality, I would have put the Russians probably at the top of the list, maybe closely followed by the South Koreans or the Chinese or fuck knows, some other bunch of weirdos. Anyway, it's the Russians. Um, I have no idea why they've decided to do this or where the idea came from. Perhaps some mad Russian scientist we sat there at breakfast having his wheat bix washed it down with a bottle of vodka and then thought, I know, let's put some VR headsets on our cows and see if we can improve their milk production because that's the objective here. According to the article, which I'm going to screen grab for you now and share, um, I, I saw this this morning when I woke up, by the way. Um, I woke up in bed, turned my phone on, had a little scroll down the news videos, I'm sure a lot of people do, and lo and behold, there's a picture of a motherfucking cow with a VR headset on. I couldn't scroll past without reading and uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't go throughout my day without making this video and sharing that same ridiculous experience with you guys too. So here's the article, I'm gonna read a little bit out of it. Uh, a farm just outside of Moscow is testing virtual reality glasses for its cows. They don't look like glasses, you'll see a picture in a minute. They look like a full, a full headset. Uh, in an effort to increase the quantity and quality of the milk produced. And this is according to uh, an article published by the Ministry of Agriculture for the Moscow region. Um, and what they're saying is, uh, yeah, studies have shown that cows' environmental conditions can impact the milk produced, specifically improving its quality or increasing its quantity. So what they've done here is put the cows in a virtual, re a virtual world and it's just a wild, expansive field beneath the summer sun. So what they're describing as a cow's virtual paradise. I mean, if you're a cow, all you do is eat and produce milk. So if you've got acres and acres of grass in front of you and the sunshine, I suppose it is a virtual paradise. But anyway, this, this is the article, you've seen it there now, and there's a chap there feeding his cow with its, uh, with its VR headset on. There's a couple of questions that, that spring to mind here for me. Um, and I, if you guys have any idea about this, then you know, write it in the comments below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are on it. But first of all, I want to know what headset they've based this modified cow one on. You know, it doesn't look like anything I recognise. And uh, you know, and, and, and secondly, what's what's the fuck? What's the IPD of, a, of your average cow? You know, has it got has it got some? huge slider at the bottom that allows you to adjust the, the IPD for cows because their heads, well, their eyes are pretty much on the side of their heads. They're not even on the front. So this must be some bespoke, you know, HMD they've, they've made here just for this purpose, which, which is hilarious. And also, you know, what's the resolution of the panels? What's, uh, what's the refresh rate? Do cows get motion sickness if, uh, if the frame rate drops too low? Who knows? Do, do you guys know? Fucking comment below. It'd be, it'd be cool to find out. Um, and also then there's, there's the implementation of the whole idea. Are these Oculus Quest style battery powered HMDs? So the cows are all walking about the fields with their, their huge great Oculus Quest style uh, head mounted displays on, or have they all got you know 100 foot USB and, uh, and display port cables going back to a, a PC with, with 100 graphics cards in somewhere in, uh, in the middle of a dairy farm in, in Russia? It's just the whole idea is ridiculous. And to be honest, the legitimacy of this whole thing could be brought into question anyway. Who knows with the Russians? They could be up to anything, it could be some huge publicity stunt. I have no idea. Maybe they're about to release their own virtual reality headset and it's you know, tested on cows or cow approved or, or something ridiculous like that. But, um, but yeah, how, how the fuck's it gonna work? And from a cow's point of view, how's it gonna work for them? They're gonna be walking about in this virtual field and they're gonna wanna eat the virtual grass because all the cows do is eat grass and then, and then sleep and then eat grass and then sleep. So they're gonna try and eat the virtual grass. So the, the virtual grass isn't real, it's, it's virtual. So what if they're in an area of a field that actually doesn't have any grass? They're gonna lean down to eat the grass they see. There's gonna be nothing there. The cows are gonna be really confused. So I honestly don't know how this is gonna work or the legitimacy of it all, but it was too good an opportunity uh, to pass by, you know, cows in VR. The end of 2019, who would have predicted that? 
Um, but anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. It's just a, it's the most ridiculous thing, but I'd love to hear it. Um, if anyone knows any actual details, maybe you are that Russian scientist that woke up one day and, and thought over a bottle of vodka and some Weetabix, let's put our cows in VR. And if you are, let me know and, uh, and tell me why the fuck you thought that was a good idea. But, uh, but that's it for today. Just a quick one. I thought it was comical. I thought I'd share it. Uh, like and subscribe if you like this sort of stupid shit, cows in virtual reality. Maybe next week we'll do cats in VR um, and the week after maybe elephants. Who knows? Let's see what other animals we can put in virtual reality uh, and see what happens. But I'll see you all next time. Have a good day. Take care.